folks. I am here with you on this Monday, May 27th. One thing I have learned as a teacher, um, you don't necessarily always remember what day of the week it is or what the date is. My name is Annie. I am a joy-filled stitcher here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. And I'm here sharing all of the whips in my first ever whip parade. Whip parade. Raise your hand if you like whip parades. I do. I love whip parades. I love watching the videos that have them and seeing what all amazing things. And I will say, usually it's an opportunity to be enabled a little bit. So maybe I will enable you a little bit with some of the things I have going on. I'm gonna be excited to share what I have that's currently being stitched on and then what's in the very immediate, like already kitted. That's not very many, it's just a few. I think there's maybe like five. Um, and I have two buckets. I also will share um, about what my project bag situation is. So if you're kind of interested in knowing um, what I keep my kits in or my kitted things in. So, thought I'd start today, this video, not, not just with whips, but to share a little bit about myself as a stitcher. So chatty time. I was taught to stitch, cross stitch, when I was 16 by my aunt. That was 22 years ago. And over the years, I've kind of been really into the hobby and then I kind of would back off and then be really into it and then back off. But never to the extent that I am right now. So it really has fit my lifestyle now. Um, so when I started stitching, I stitched primarily on 10 and 11 count Ada, which I look at that now and go, oh my gosh, those holes are huge. I love 18 count Ada. I'm actually gonna have a project I'm gonna share with you that's gonna be on 20 count Ada. Um, and I've also stitched in the past on linen. I'm not really enjoying that right now. And then some other things that I did back in the day that I don't necessarily do now. So then I would always count down and over and start, well, I guess it would have been this way, in the lower left hand corner. I lied, the lower right hand corner. So that was one thing that I do differently. Now I start in the center and work my way. Sometimes I work my way out, sometimes I work my way up, it just depends. So that's one thing I did different. So let's do then and now on some things that I learned. Literally in the last two months I learned about a loop start. Where has loop start been my whole life? Um, I will say I committed many a stitching sin and one of those was I put knots to hold. Um, and I didn't even know about like going back and weaving back through your stitches to hold your um, ends. Okay, so now loop start or I just kind of hold my thread and I make sure it loops around. I don't do knots and then I weave my ends through. So my backs look much nicer now. Okay, so then versus now. Then paper charts. I mentioned this in my first video that I did not know about the whole like, hey, maybe you want, might want to use the chart again. Maybe you might want to sell the chart, like, you know, to somebody. Maybe you just want to give the chart to somebody. It's really hard to give somebody something that you've marked all over, highlighted all over. So within the last year, I've gone from that nonsense to either a working copy or now I am pretty much exclusively on my iPad. And I just have an old iPad mini that won't even work for my daughter anymore because it won't update her games or anything. But it works perfectly for, um, I think I use good notes, maybe. Anyway, so I use that exclusively now to mark my charts and I can highlight and I have like a little stylus. So that's kind of in then and now. Um. I don't know that there's any other thens and nows. Those are pretty much my big ones. So, little history. Started, was fast and furious with stitching. I was, I'm not fast, I was furious about stitching. Loved it. Um, used to give my mom a Christmas stitch every year. Some years I gave her two. 
as pillows. Some of my favorites back then, and they still are some of my favorites now, were Lizzie Kate, Fancy That. And those were really the ones that I remember. And um, so, but when I went to college, I put it away. I just didn't have time. And it just wasn't where my frame of mind was. After I graduated college, I had all my supplies. They traveled with me from apartment to apartment. Never really got pulled back out. During that time, I got into felt applique, got into quilting big time, um, scrapbooking, both paper and digital. So I've always kind of had that creative mindset, but never f fully focused back on cross stitch until about, gosh, it was three years ago, I broke my ankle and ruptured two tendons and had to have not one but two reconstructive surgeries within the span of six months. And during that time, I picked back up stitching briefly. Fast forward to last September and I lost my grandmother very unexpectedly. And at the same time, I kind of lost some of my joy. And some very wise people in my life said, you've got to find something that brings back your joy. And I remembered in my head, my mom telling me, hey, you have this cross stitch pattern that we bought probably 10 years ago that I, do you still have it? And I said, yeah, which one is it first? And she told me it was Lottie Dawes, Noah's Ark. And it's a great pattern. It's, um, the mock-up is on kind of a camel colored linen and then it's stitched pretty much all in black with just a tiny bit of like, a taupe color just randomly but that's most of it's black and so I thought you know what I need to get that out and I need to stitch that for her she has asked me about that every single every single year and so I secretly stitched that and finished it finished it off for her I did not fully finish it because I wanted to see how she wanted it finished because one of the things that I have noticed is that the pillows that I used to make her they look like a 16, 17, 18 year old made them. They've held up well over the test of time. She does still put them all out at Christmas on her couch. But I have encouraged her if she wants to, to go ahead and um, remake them. Take the cross stitch out and remake them. I mean, they were like stuffed with fiber pill. She would probably make them beautifully. She makes gorgeous pillows. So I let her decide how to do that. I also, because I had time, apparently, I stitched her a cute little, it was a uh, Wee One's Glad Tidings, and it's a cute little, small, very small, like little nativity scene. And I did it in a hoop, an oval hoop, and then I finished it with the um, embroidery floss around the edges. And with that, it's like it ignited a new, my it rekindled my love of cross stitch. And since then, I have not stopped. And another thing that really helped with rekindling that and also enabling me and adding to my stash and just giving me all these whips um, is the School of Magical Stitches. I joined February 15th and so I have been a member now for February, March, April, what is that, four months? No, five, three months, a little over three months. And I have just loved every minute of it and it's added a lot to my whips. So with that being said, that's a little bit about me. I've now rambled for eight and a half minutes. Um, let me show you some stuff. So let me find my list. Somewhere is my list. I have two buckets. I have this bucket. Actually, I have three buckets. This bucket. I have another bucket. And then I have a bucket on the floor. So let me get my list because I don't have it. And I'll be right back. All right, planning is key. I now have my list. This came off of my, I keep a file. I use the numbers um, application on my MacBook to keep track of all of my whips, my finishes, my homework tasks and all of that. I really like that organizational spreadsheet stuff. So let's start with first, I have two UFOs. I actually have four UFOs, but I'm not sharing the other two of them. But I have two UFOs that I'm trying to decide what I want to do about them. One of them I'm afraid I just don't like the fabric choice. So let me start with my very first UFO. And this is in a, a pouch. This one's kind of wrinkly. A pouch of my own making. And so I found this fabric on the clearance at Joann's. And it's got little bows. And on the inside it's got chambray. So let me pull up this pattern. So this pattern is by La Dee Daw. 
and it is This Is The Day. And this is one of my daughter and I's favorite songs to sing. We sing this every night at bedtime. Um, I will not regale you with my singing. And so I um, set about to do this, but I decided to do a color conversion on it. And I love my color conversion. However, I do not like my fabric choice, I don't think. I am doing this on an 18 count antique white, just plain. And I've used this for a couple of tasks in school, Magical Stitches. I have a Alice in Wonderland um, needle minder of my own making. It's a little Alice in Wonderland purse. But as you can see, this is um, Classic Colorworks Strawberry Parfait and Ships Manor Prim and Proper. This is all I've stitched so far. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't love it on this fabric. This fabric is rough. I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do. I haven't rectified that situation. So for, for the time being, even though I have all these beautiful overdyes and DMCs picked out and all of that, it's a UFO. But it's sitting in a really cute pouch as a UFO. So that's one UFO. I have one other that I'm gonna show you. And that is, let me get back to find the picture. This is what's gonna take the longest, unfortunately is um the spirit of oz santa this is by brooks books publishing and oh, i started out so strong on this one i even this is my first time this was my first time stitching on perforated paper my first time stitching with metallics crinic specifically and this is what i have so far and you can see me in there and there's my dole whip needle minder of my own making and you know I got this far I don't like stitching on perforated paper but I mean how cool are his boots that Krynik is amazing so and it's in a very fancy great value project bag um so I don't know I haven't decided what I'm gonna do about this one yet it is like I said sitting in here because it just is what it is all right, so my next one, these are current active whips. And my first one is my temperature quilt for this year. I am almost a full month behind, but I have found that I enjoy stitching a larger amount and seeing a lot of great progress. So I was stitching it every week, then it kind of went to two weeks, and then I really liked it when I got to three weeks. And then this month, let's just put it bluntly, I didn't get to it at the three week mark. So this weekend it's on my plans. So this is a free pattern by Hetty Ruckert and it's H-E-T-T-I-R-U-C-K-E-R-T -E and she is on Instagram. And then this is linked from her Instagram to her blog. And she is an artist from the Netherlands. So this was Netherland is what her says. And this is another project that is in a <laughs> great value project bag. Um, and this is a year long project, so I will not be, um, I will not be finished with this until the end of the year. And I will say I am using just a color code that I found online. And then I have these like Chinese floss things. And so these are my floss colors. So these are my hot. So like to start when I started in January or somewhere kind of in here, I've been in this range all through the spring, and now I'm starting to get the yellows and the oranges. I haven't gotten to a red yet, but that will come because I live in Texas and it can be over 100 easily. So this is where I am so far, and this is on an 18 count opalescent. So I'm hoping, yeah, you can see it, yay. Another needle maker, needle minder of my own making. This is a teacup from Disney. It still has my needle on it. And this is where I've gotten to. This got me through the end of April. So you can kind of see the purples and blues and greens. And this was my favorite repeat that I did, which was the little cute. And I was hoping it would focus. You could see them, the little sewing bobbins. And so, and as you can see, this repeat also kind of got me my year. So I haven't done the two because that's May 1st, but it'll be 2019. And then eventually it'll get around the edges where I can put Fort Worth, which is where this would be calculated from. So I'm loving this. All right, so moving on. We're going to call that active whip number one. All right, number two was a start that I did throughout the Linton season. And I did not get very far on it. 
This is by Fuzzy Fox Designs again on Etsy. And it is called He Is It says He Is Risen. It's a cute one, and I like the hoop finish. I'm gonna pile all my stuff over here. Over there. So I am doing this, I believe, on an 18 count touch of pink Ada. And as of this point, it has a cute House of Mang bunny. Cutie little girl bunny. I have the H, the H, the H outline. Did I do the outline? Yes. And then part of the uh, crown that's going to go at the top. Now, I do have this slotted for one of the year long tasks in School of Magical Stitches. Um, it is the diadem because on that, um, oh, it was Horcruxes, and one of the Horcruxes is a diadem. And so I thought that worked kind of well for that. So that's what number two. Number three on my list of lists is Mysterious Halloween Town. And I have showed this one recently in a video. And this is in, um, now we're into pouches. I think I only maybe have one more that's in a baggie. This is in a Love You More Studio Co. pouch. This is one of their snuggly, snuggle pouches, which is flannel. And it has these navy and, navy and cream feather pattern. And then the inside has plaid. I don't know. I thought it was kind of like Halloween-y. Um, I don't actually have a Halloween pouch. And so this is being stitched on 16 count Ada in, I think it's Lavender Sunset. And so it's kind of like purple and green. And so this is where I am currently. So I've got the haunted house, the lamp, but the lamp's not completely finished. That tree's kind of funny looking sticking out there but because it's not finished. And most of the fence is done. And I'm loving this one. I have a couple of um, subs that I did on floss. I switched out all the black with blackboard, um, Gentle Arts blackboard. And let's see. And then I switched out the, it was supposed to be Gentle Arts Lavender Potpourri. I switched that out for Purple Iris because the Lavender Potpourri at my LNS blended with the fabric. So most everything else was the called for. I think I might have swapped out one or two others. I think I swapped out the pink, the light pink. Um, I can't remember what it was called for. I could look it up. Oh, and you know what? I didn't show you the pattern, but I did show it before. But I will show it again because I think it's a cute one. And I think it's, this is by Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. And it's Halloween Town. And it's so cute. And I love all the turquoise. I am a turquoisey gal. It was funny. I played back one of my videos where I said I was a turquoisey gal. And my daughter goes, you are. And I was like, I know I am. All right. So let's see what's next. Okay. So next, this is another one I've shown. And this is Spring Acorns. And this is by the Blue Flower. Whoops. Blue Flower. And this is what it will look like finish. I love it. I, one of the, my most favorite quilts I ever made, just a little storytelling. One of my most favorite quilts I ever made was an Ohio star, which is that eight point star. And it's all Western looking fabrics because I'm from Texas. And so I love this, that it has so two, not one, but two Ohio stars, the little one and the big one. So I am stitching this in all the called fours. This is on 16 count Ada. And this is a picture this plus Heartland is the colorway. And this is one of the new releases for 2019. I bought this on market day with the flosses and the pattern all at my LNS. They had a little special thing. And it's got another Disney needle minder that I made. That's an aerial purse. Doesn't have any like does a cohesiveness, but whatever. Um, and so this is where I've gotten to so far. And I love this. There is one goof. I goofed. I overstitched one of these little middle sections. But I'm just going with it. You know, I once heard a saying that the Amish always said that there are no mistakes. And so oftentimes in like Amish, and I might be totally wrong, but I heard this sometime. And maybe it was just said to make somebody feel good. But that they, most of the time, they have mistakes in their work because it shows that nobody is perfect. And I like that. So, this is in, I forgot to show this. This is in a Love You More Studio Co. pouch. Let's get a good cutesy picture of this. And this one is a Tula Pink 
fabric that has these funny cute squirrels. I love this. The vibrancy of this is gorgeous. And then the inside has one of my favorite patterns, which is polka dots. So super love this one. Excited to get some more time in that um, at some point. So next is one that I showed this week that I had worked on. And this is my Fort Worth pattern. So let me do a little picture of it. Where to go? There it is. And so, if you watched my last video, you would have heard me talk about how I live in Forth, born raised, and these are some of the places that are famous to us. And so, this is in Love You More Studio Co. Patrick, seeing a theme here. Um, and this is denim with gold dots. The inside is like tape cream with gold marbling. Very cool. This is on a 14 count Ada silk weaver um, that I just purchased off of Aunt eBay from somebody who was de-stashing a ton of their silk weaver stuff. And so that's where I am so far. And this right here is like the middle. So I've got a ways to go on this, um, but I'm loving it. And this was is from um, Awesome Pattern Studios on Etsy. So loving that one. And it's got some fun colors coming so you can see and super bright. It's all DMC. Um, I don't have very many that are just all DMC, but I like the all DMCs every now and again. Okay, next is another Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. I like their patterns. I think they're really cutesy. Um, and it is Hello Autumn. So cute little square. I'm hoping to maybe have this one finished by Autumn, but you know what? Ooh, let me go back. These borders are look deceptively small but when you actually start stitching them they're over 500 stitches a piece and you know how i know used them for an extra credit task so this project is in another love you more studio co this is another snuggie the last two were just their standard um and this is the standard size i do have one full size that i'll show you here in a minute but i traditionally get just the standard size and this is their succulents print love this and the inside is a really cute, like, purple and gray plaid. And so this is in all the called for. I think I switched up the skin tone on something. I can't remember what. But this is on, I want to say this is on a silk weaver. I think this might be on the same silk weaver that Fort Worth is on. So as you can see, I've got Hello. I do not have the three dots, but I do have Hello stitched in the top border and then some of the bottom border stitch. So I've got a ways to go. We'll see. I mean, summer's gonna hopefully afford me more time to stitch than the school year has. All right, next up is a Lizzie Kate. And um, I saw this and I was like, I have to stitch it. One, a couple of reasons why. One, it's a Lizzie Kate. Two, it says established 1999. And even though that's not the date I'm going to put, I graduated high school in 99 and so it's kind of a special year one reason i knew i had to is this looks a lot like my house it's kind of this reddish brown brick and it has a red front door i don't we don't have a fence but we would love to have a fence and we're going to put established 2013 because that's when we purchased our home and so i've gotten a bit on this this is on okay so this is in a, a pouch of my own making and it's not showing up right, but this is like a light blue and this is navy and white. And the inside is navy and white pokey dots. I guess I call them pokey dots. I am stitching this on a 14 count Ada in denim. And I really like this fabric. And you might notice if you really paid close attention that I made a goof on this pattern. There are two symbols that are kind of similar. And it's the symbol that's that's the red of the front door and this that's over the front door. That right there. The symbols are kind of close. They're like the same symbol, but one's one way and one's the other. I stitched it in red. So at some point I'm gonna be frogging that out and restitching it in the right color. But at the time I was trying to use this for a extra credit for school magical stitches and so I got that finished oh and the fabric came from a group or a person on eBay uh, not on eBay 
on Facebook that has a group that sells her fabrics at a very, very reasonable price. It's where I got that antique white, and it's also where I got this denim. Ada. So that was Our House by Lizzie Kate. We're trucking along here. All right, next is a Ship's Manor pattern. And it is, it was originally a sow. I did not get it when it was a sow. And it is the Merry and Bright sow. And I am loving this. Now, I actually started this one, stitched the entire and sign, and then switched fabrics. I was stitching it on a black, black, like charcoal black, not charcoal black, what am I talking about? Chalkboard black linen. Oh no, it was not happening. Or it was some dark. Yeah, it was dark. So I switched to, this is an 18 count navy blue Ada. And I actually have quite a bit of headway on this. And I am absolutely loving this. This is all the called fours from Ships Manor. This is what has got me obsessed with his patterns currently. And you'll see a theme. I've got quite a number of them. One, because I think his color theory is fantastic. Two, I really like kind of the open work style. And I like that this kind of looks like vintage ornaments and stuff. Like these look like vintage ornaments. So I have a pretty good head start on this. Um, I have this actually slotted for three year long stitching challenges if I get there. Um, they're kind of at the end of my stitching list. Like I stitch my homework. If I had time, then I stitch my extra credit. Last month, I think I got to three stitching tasks. I think I have this slotted for three more. And um, like I said, I'm stitching in all of the called fours from him. And this is in a pouch of my making. Um, like I said, I'm in a project, like in one of my other videos, I said, I'm in a project bag making Bonanza. And so this is some fabric I found. This is one of my flannel ones. And you'll see it says, grateful, blessed, thankful. And so it's a Christmassy theme. And it's got kind of gray, it looks like wood and words. And then the inside is red and black buffalo plaid. I love it. Okay. Now, I need some water. Love my Yeti, my hot pink Yeti. I'm feeling kind of scattered, so I apologize if you're kind of like, she's all over the place. Okay, this is my only full size Love You More. And you can see it is quite a bit larger, so I'll show you. Like this is standard and that is full. So it doesn't appear too much bigger side by side, but this holds a lot, lot more. Rightly so, because this project has a ton of floss. This is, um, and it's gonna be a hard picture to show because this is a whole, my bucket's about to fall off this table, a whole series. So this is Sing a Sampler by Silver Creek Samplers. So let me see if I can zoom in a little bit and not lose all resolution. So it's the doe a deer, a female deer. So do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, and do. This is a four part pattern and then at the bottom it has the piece that connects. Um, it's sold as four different parts. I am currently working on part three because I'm doing them in one long line. I obviously start in the middle and I needed them for I think an extra credit. And that meant I started with number three, which number three is so and la. This is on a 16 count, I believe. I think I actually have the tag in here. Maybe I'm smart enough to keep it. I did. No, I was right. 16 count. Um, picture this plus legacy Ada. And I'm hoping I calculated the size right. I used my calculator, my cross stitch calculator. And so, so far I have the sew block. As far as I can tell, I think the sew block is done with the words. And so it says sew a needle pulling thread. And I love how cute the spools, the tiny spool and the big spool. And then it has, the, I went ahead and stitched the words at the bottom. So I have this also slotted for something else. I think it's a, I think it's a year long task. And so uh, this will be coming back out hopefully soon. I love this one. This is another one that I'm thinking I'm going to give to my mom. My mom um, used to always watch The Sound of Music with her grandmother. And so she has kind of a love for that. So I might I might um, get that to her this year or it might be something that takes a little longer. It's a pretty big project. Um, it's going to probably take 
20, I think it's 22 or 24 inches long. It's only about nine inches tall. So after seeing a sampler, we have Quilting Bee. This is an, another blue flower. This was kind of the darling, that's what a lot of people are saying, the darling of market this year, rightly so. I think it's an absolutely beautiful pattern. Again, it's got the Ohio star in the middle. I think that's what it's called, the eight, the eight point star. And it's just beautiful. Um, and I am stitching this in all the called for. It kind of looks like a quilt. I, I love, I loved quilting. So I, of course, look at my fancy floss holder. So it's got all the pretty gentle arts in there. And I'm doing this on Picture This Plus Ada, 16 count, also in Heartland. So again, this was my market, this was a market purchase. I ended up take, buying, um, getting a whole large piece, splitting it in two. And so this is what both spring acorns and quilting bee are being stitched on. And so, so far, this is what I have. I have some of the bee's body and then some of the wing. And I mean, this is just beautifully designed. Janine, I believe is her name. And she's such a fantastic designer. I love her things. Um, my one, two, three stitch wish list has quite a number of her patterns on it currently. Um, or some wish list somewhere. I can't remember where. And this is in a pouch that I sewed. My bag sticking out. Some fabric I found at Joann's. I just liked it. It really has no... I'd like to find some cute bee fabric, but I haven't gotten that far because this will not be one that gets finished anytime soon. It's just when it kind of pops up and it works for some stitching. It's got this, and the inside has this really cute purple with white polka dots. Again, it has no bearing on what's inside. Some of them match up real nicely. Some of them don't. Okay. One bucket is done. Yay. Okay, next up. I've endeavored to, let me make sure this is right. Yep. I've endeavored to complete all of the Brooks Books Advent Animals. And I have completed so far three. Katie Kitty, Duncan Dog, and Peter Polar Bear. And I have started um, Hattie Hedgehog. So this is in a project bag by B Crafty Bags. I actually sent her, all right, it's got fuzzies all on it. Uh, I actually sent her fabric. So I sent, I had this fabric in my stash. I sent her this. She's in England. I sent her a very large packet of uh, bag of fabric. And then she created bags for me. And then it's got this white with gold dots. This has been on the cue snap for a while. I probably need to pull it off. This one has another Disney Needle Minder. This is the uh, riverboat. I think from the Jungle Cruise is what that's supposed to be. And you can see I've made a bit of a start on Hattie. Um, this was for a task and something. I don't remember. I'm just not feeling inspired by them right now. And that's kind of the thing is if I'm not enjoying stitching it, I don't stitch on it. Um, and even sometimes I will really finagle things in my homework tasks or extra credit tasks and sometimes I've even been known to switch them up later on because I've not been enjoying what I was stitching on. Oh, you know what? I had a picture of what she's going to look like when she's finished. Um, if you're not familiar, and these are free patterns on her blog, um, and they are all adorable and impeccably designed, and I think they're fantastic. Now, I will say the way that I plan to FFO them, I am not stitching the outline on any of them. Um, and sometimes I'm even omitting a little bit of the back stitching because I don't like back stitching. And if it doesn't need it, I don't. All right, next, and I think I know what's in here. Yep, Carrot Forest. And so this is in a, I found this cute flannel on clearance at Joann's and it has a bunny, which I thought kind of went with this. This is Al Forest embroidery pattern. And this is one that is only available as a kit from their website or I believe 1884 Stitchery is going, has ordered some. I don't know if this is one of the kits she's going to carry, but you might want to check with her and see or inquire. And so this is Carrot Forest. Al Forest Embroidery has a very specific design style. I'm really liking it right now. Um, I have a couple of things. I have this and Emerald City Sal, which I'll show in a minute. This is on a, I think it's 14 count, 14 or 16 count. Um, Ada, and I think it's opal. 
is the um, color. It's kind of a real mottled pinky tan color, and I really like it. It's kind of, these bunnies are a little bit hard to see, but I still love it. And the carrots, beautiful. But you will see throughout all of their patterns if you go on their website or if you go um, and find them on one of their uh, distributors. U.S. distributors. I will say that was the only thing is I really wanted to stitch on it and it took a really long time to get to me. Um, and by then I was kind of like, I had so many other things. I was like, I cannot bring myself to start it. So I finally did it fit into something. And so I got started on it and I love it. It's so cute. Which brings me to my next one, which is technically number, I haven't been keeping track, but this is uh, number 13, lucky number 13. I like number 13. And this is in a uh, Made by Mama Joan bag. And this was one that she did in collaboration with Kelly Creates. And I love gingham. And so, got to have the gingham back. Um, again, doesn't really have bearing with what's, on, what's in here. And this is one that's going to last me a while. But if you watched my last video, I talked about some fabric I have pre-ordered. This was Wizard of Oz. And so, this will be residing in that Wizard of Oz bag when I get that fabric, because once it comes in, I will literally make that bag that day. Or two bags, I don't know, we'll see. So this is Emerald City Sal. This is only release one and release two. They have release number three, and number four comes out this coming Sunday, June 2nd. Um, and so I have finished released release one, and have started release two, and I actually have this slotted for this week's homework. Um, you'll see how far I get on that. And so this is on a 14 count Ada, and it's upside down, in mint. This is a silk weaver. And this is um, one I got off that seller on eBay. So we've got, and I can't see because this is so incredibly huge. Let me fold it so I can make sure that I'm talking about the right things. So this was release, whoop, release one. This was release one. And as you can see, I have started release two started and then hopefully release three will be shortly behind that and then release four because I'd love to be um, able to post that I am on time with a sow for once because the other two UFOs are sows I've abandoned I don't like them I don't like how <sighs> for somebody who enjoys planning and keeping on top of things and you know planning things out I my head does not wrap around sows very well, but I am loving this one, so I am wanting to stitch on it. That's another big piece of it. Okay, number 14 is a, was my very first Strawberry May Nia start. Um, again, go back, watch one of my previous videos where I talk about that. And it is Blackbird Designs, Strawberry Fields Forever, and I love this. I love all things strawberry. Um, and so this is in a Love You More Studio Co. I can't remember what this one was called, but this is a Tula Pink fabric again. Beautiful, gorgeous colors. Again, has no bearing on what's inside. Um, and then it has this pretty coordinating on the inside. This is on a 14 count Silk Weavers. I don't know the colorway, but it's kind of a mustardy tan. Um, and so far, as is the theme of my strawberry mania. Strawberry charts, but haven't stitched a strawberry. But I do have a really good start on this house. Um, I have not filled in the house, but I do have the fence, the door, all the windows, the roof, and the two chimney stacks, and the outline of the house. And I'm loving this. Well, I love everything Blackbird Design. I have a huge order of some coming. The problem is I'm afraid that the company I ordered from, from looking on Facebook, which I should have done so what I was saying is the company that I order from does not have a very good reputation for shipping things in a timely fashion or if at all. So I only ordered it about a week and a few days ago, not include, well, and that includes the weekends. So I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. Um, I'm not going to file my PayPal dispute just yet. I mean, I haven't really even given them enough time. So hopefully they've been able to get their acting gear and I will get those things because I ordered quite a bit from them including some Blackbird design patterns and some flosses I wanted to try, like dinky dyes and stuff like that, and they had a really good price on them. We'll see. I will not name names. If you want to know, you can send me a message on Instagram. Okay, so number 15 was another strawberry 
Mania Star. And this one is holding, other than Strawberry Fields Forever, this is holding my other two strawberry. And this was another one from Be Crafty that I sent her this strawberry fabric in anticipation of Strawberry Mania. And then the inside is just chambray. I don't really like these final front bags anymore. But this one's serving its purpose because it's holding more than one whip currently. I've showed this one. This is a Lila Studio. And this is a Dinah's Garden. So this is Dinah. This is her strawberry garden. There's also one with blueberries, which is really cute too. But we are all about the strawberries. And this has been a super fun stitch so far. Um, again, no strawberry stitch. Oh well. That is what it is. Um, so, I need some water. Very nice. My dog is not snoring tonight. Isn't that nice? Alrighty, so I have her shoes, her big old huge basket. I mean, let's put it this way. The proportion on this, this basket is huge. She'd never be able to carry this basket. But I love it. And I'm set up to very easily stitch in some strawberries. But my rotation was done on this piece. And so I'm looking for ways that I can bring this back in. Unfortunately, it did not work with any of the um, titles of things this week or designers. So maybe next week for homework. Um, and then I showed this one also. This is Little House Needleworks Strawberry House. And this one, I'm sorry, I could not find a picture that was better resolution to be able to zoom in. But it, this is the actual pattern. And then this is a close-up. And so as in true Annie stitching fashion, I still don't have a um, strawberry stitched on this. This is on a 14 count Ada. I think it's pink. I think it's sorbet. And it is a pretty pink. I do have the strawberry colored house stitched and all of the windows, insides of the windows. And I'm really liking how this is stitching up too. This is um, Classic Colorworks Ladybug and I'm loving this. And I actually have this in, an, in a start I started today. And this must be like the universal strawberry color because it's also the strawberries in that pattern are also in that same ladybug color. So yeah, those are those two. I'm almost done with my active whips. I don't have that many. I mean, I'm going to tell you right now. I watched, I know I mentioned her a lot, but she's like, she's floss tube goals for me. And that's, um, well, there's two. Excuse me. There are two that are floss tube goals. One is Michelle Bendy Stitchy. I think she had 90 whips on her last whip parade. And my wish list group by a lot because she has great taste. Second person, whip goals. Although I don't know that my own head could wrap around how many they have. But <laughs> it's entirely possible because I have even more down there that I haven't even started yet. Would be uh, Jennifer Upton. I love everything that she has. And she is insanely fast. I mean, she finishes things like this. Um, I'm not that fast. So I'm working on it. We'll see. That's what my husband always says. I'm working on it. When I say, hey, have you done this? I'm working on it. I've adopted it. Don't tell him that. Okay. Next up is Hello Beautiful. And this is the one I've shown the last two weeks. This is a design of my own making. It is an, a memory for my grandmother who used to, every time I talked to her, she would say, Hello Beautiful. And actually, you know what's really sweet is somebody was asking in one of my like local mom groups, hey, how do you save voicemails? Because I guess... Um, she had just lost her father and so she wanted to save some of the voicemails that were still on her phone and I was like do I have any voicemails of Mimi's and you know what I did and so I listened to a few I picked a couple and I emailed them to myself so now I can hear anytime I want her voice and you know what I got a little emotional about that because I haven't heard her voice since September and I haven't heard it since the fr the last Friday that we talked before she went in the hospital on that Sunday night, like middle of the night. And she never really came back around to her normal self. Um, I went and I s visited her every day and I would talk to her, but she never talked back to me. And so to be able to hear her voice again was really special. And that was a little deviation. This is in a, a pouch that I made. And this is a fabric that I had bought. It's a free spirit, um, which is, I think this actually is a Tula Pink. 
Um, but I'm not 100% sure of that, and so I don't want to, don't quote me on that. But this is one I had bought many moons ago to do a quilt, and so I have a whole bunch that go along with this. And um, they have kind of the hidden, this one is hidden insects. And then the inside coordinates. And this is one of my favorite that I've done so far. Um, I'm sure that what will get added to that will be all those new fabrics that I've done. And this is being stitched, oh, dog on it drop my floss on the floor uh is on a picture of this plus nessie is the color and it is a 16 count ada and this is a new 2019 release so this is where i am i am literally f u l and being done so i'm hopeful to get to this this week get it finished get it off my list excuse my face being really close i can pick this up right now before i forget so that's that. I think we are on the last two. And these are two that I started within the last two days, three days. So this is another Ship's Manor. This is Beautiful Sea. And this is one that I started on Saturday, the day I filmed. All right? No, maybe. Okay. Um, I filmed on Friday. Excuse me. And this is what this is going to look like. Um, he did his on green, which all the awesomeness. Green is not my favorite color. And I I felt like the color, all of his amazing flosses were not popping as much as they could on that green. So I went to my stash and I found, okay, first, this is in a pouch that I created. I found this fabric at Joann's. It's a flannel and it was on clearance also. They were selling all their flannels for like 70% off. And it has whales and things on it. And what's funny is, is I found this and my daughter had just, her, in first grade, they do a whole big project on whales and dolphins and sea mammals and things like that. And so she had to have a pouch of this. And so hers holds her iPad. Um, and then it's got just white with little blue dots. Um, so I am stitching this on. Let me see if I have the tag in here because I want to say it right. This was a fabric of the month by Color and Cotton. And this is an 18 count Ada in the colorway Mardi Gras. And this I think was my very first month that I got color cotton. I was like, this was a good choice to join this um, because this fabric is beautiful. So let me first show you the fabric. So it's kind of like purpley, beautiful. Purple, blue, everything awesomeness. And so I am using this for an extra credit in School of Magical Stitches for things found in the, the lake. I called it Forbidden Lake in my last video. It's not the Forbidden Lake. And I haven't researched as to what it's actually called. So this is where I am. I can't see if I'm showing it well or not. Let me. So, so far I have stitched this outside of this shell. There's more detailing inside. This really pretty groovy seahorse. Sea He's in a variegated um, ship's manner. I think it's Bonnie Blues. And then the um, interior turquoise is Calypso. And then this really cool, um, like, corally, seashelly business. And then this also very groovy fish. Um, so, as you can see, I'm, I'm loving ship's manner. I have, I think, two more starts in my other bucket that I'm about to get to that are ship's manner. Because literally he puts out a pattern. I'm like, bye now. Bye now. Send me all the floss. I don't I don't convert his flosses because um, I love what he does. But I'm liking this on the little purple, the purple look better. All right, so last current whip. Let me get my picture. This is one I started today. And hmm, it has not agreed with me. Um, it is a beautiful pattern. The pattern is not the problem. The problem was me today. <laughs> I was having a heck of a time. Heck of a time. So this just to, I talked about this. This is Strawberries and Stripes. This was a market release this year uh, by Brenda Gervais. And I might be saying her name wrong. I frogged this not once. Well, okay, I frogged a portion of it once because I was off. And I thought, oh, this is where I'm off. I frogged that and I restitched it. I was still off. So I frogged the whole thing. Ugh. Anyway, I'm still not where I want to do. This is my first 
task for this week's homework and I want it to be done already and I'm not. And this is on a Mystic Fabrics. Why will you not focus on that? Thank you. Um, it does not have a name. It's an 18 count Ada, but it's a beautiful light blue gray. Um, I was, in my last video, you'll know that I was debating what to do this on. That I was thinking, oh, linen. Uh, no, it's a beautiful linen. I d just did not like it. And so I pulled out some Ada, and I'm loving it. And so this, that's stitched twice. But it's uh, pretty, it's in Gentle Arts in Dive. The thing that I am trying to reconcile right now, and I can't even show you, is that in ripping out seams, I ripped my Ada. Not to the point where the holes aren't usable, and I'm not even going to have stitching there anyway, but enough to, like, be noticeable. And this is supposed to be for someone else. So I think what I'm going to do, because this is a really big piece of fabric, like, this is folded, too, back under here. I'm thinking this one will be for me. And this will be my Amish one. This will be my one that's, like, nobody's perfect. And then I'll restitch a second one. But which means I've got a really motor or put this one aside and start stitching the second one. So I'm loving this though. Now that I've got it under control and my brain is back where it needs to be. I will show you it's not currently in its pouch because it's still on the Q-snap. And by the way, my eight by six. My dog is snoring again. But he's in the other room and he's loud enough for me to hear him. That talk. We need to go get his nose checked. I don't think he should be snoring so much. This is in just a blue and red and white plaid flannel. Um, inside is like, this is kind of my patriotic sleeve, um, is another flannel, but it's red with white stars and it's kind of a tie dye look. So let's take a moment of pause for me to, I'm not gonna actually pause, but I'm just gonna pause to clear off this bucket and I have a pile that's about to topple. One moment. All right, I'm back. Let me get another bucket off the floor. Oh, this video is crazy, folks. I tell you, it's crazy. All right, so this is my planned starts. So these are all gonna be within the month of June. Early in the month of June. So, according to my list of lists, not counting my UFOs, I have 19 active whips. 19. And that is not a large number, but for me, I'm kind of like, 19. Hey, we're in 2019. Okay, I'm good with that. We're good now. But I'm about to be more than that. And I'm not really close to any finishes other than Hello Beautiful and hopefully Strawberries and Stripes. So, okay, I might only be at 17 here pretty quick. Everything else is big. Nothing else is close. Okay, so Wednesday, I start my very last, my very last of my strawberry mania. I know mania is only supposed to be 19 days. I decided to do the whole month because, you know, go out with a bang on your first time. And let's see, and I, I realized in watching back my videos that my ands are very high and shrieky and shrill. And that was probably the worst one of the bunch. I've reached epic status tonight at 9 o'clock. I'm, I'm kind of a little scattered. I don't have a picture of this pattern. So, and I can't insert it because I'm <laughs> not there yet. So I will show it in my update video. But it is a Little House Needleworks slash Crescent Colors. So this will tell you it's a little bit older. Um, I bought this from somebody who was selling, oh, you know what? It was a needlework shop that was selling off some of their things. And it actually has the, it had the, the pack, the color pack, okay? This was one I was going to stitch on some of the dotted petty point, petite point, um, linen. And I was like, Ugh, linen. I want to stitch things on linen, but, mm, you know, I actually have a new start that's linen. You'll be proud if it gets done on the linen, but I kind of want it to be on this linen. So I went on searching to see if there was dotted Ada. There is. This is 20 count Ada. And so the Little House Strawberries is going to be on this. And the very first thing I am stitching, I'm so proud of myself, will be a strawberry. And it's part of homework this week. So, um, yay. Awesome. And it is in a super fancy Ziploc project bag. Um, this will go in my strawberry bag once it's actually started. It's just not there yet. All right. So that was loud. 
Next, planned start. And this is one that's gonna be for an extra credit task. I am done with all of my extra credits. No, I lied. No, I didn't. I am done with all of my extra credits that are current patterns that I've already started, my current whips. All of my other extra credits for the month of June are new starts. Um, and that's just how it worked. And I'm excited about all of these projects. So the first one that is on my list, I don't know if it'll be the next one I start, but it is the first one on my list. And this is only a portion of the pattern. And this is another ship's manner. And this is the Bluebirds Sal. Again, this is not a current Sal. It was a Sal. And um, I'm late to the game. But that's okay. And it is in my Bluebird. Come on, color. Come back. Let's get some. Let's get some good coloring going. Can we? Can we? Okay. Well. Whatever. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is um, another flannel that I found at Jonan's. We call it Jonan's. On clearance, clearance. And um, it has bluebirds. So I had to have it. And then it's got blue and gray and white plaid on the inside. And so this one is beautiful. Ship's Manor flosses again. If it calls for Ship's Manor and he designed it, it's going to have it. It's all blues. There's only there's only five colors, and I think let me ver verify this. It's got Bonnie Blues, uh, Neverland, Calypso, Sail Away, and Iceberg. That's it, folks. That is it. Actually, I think it also might. Hmm. Now I'm thinking it might also have B5200 because there's some definite white in that pattern. I think it might also have B5200. Um. And this is going to be stitched on another of my Fabric Games score from Mystic Hand Dyed Fabrics. If you have not found her yet, you should. And this is on a 14 count Zweigert by her. It does not have a name. It will not be, it will only be about half this piece. And it is very similar to what he used in his piece. Oh my gosh, this video is going to be infinitely long and take 100 years to upload. But anyway, I love this, and I can't wait to start this. Again, it's very quintessential of his style, which is kind of that open work. Um, I like it. The only thing is, everything that I've stitched of his so far, I've done an 18 count. This is the first one on 14. Um, I'll be curious to see if I like the larger stitch size and what that's going to look like. Okay, so that's the first of my new starts. My second new start is a similar look. Um, this is in... Again, a pouch I created. It has these cute woodland animals. This is a um, flannel one, and it's got blue and white gingham on the inside. This is one by the Russian Design Company. I believe it's Russian. Sorry, it's on Etsy. And it's Punot. I linked it in my last video. They have beautiful stuff. Like, I think I have four other patterns. And it's another similar style. Let me see if I can zoom in. Can I zoom in? Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. So it has snowflakes and button shapes. It has two. This one was stitched all in white. I chose to, you know, shake things up a little bit. So I am doing this. I got a little crafty this weekend. This is coming in my update video. But I'm doing my own hand dyed. This was um, an 18 count Ada antique white that I hand dyed. And I don't own a serger, and so it's a little bit frazzly. But... I love it. And then the snowflakes will be in Victorian Motto Ice Blue. So just barely blue. I mean, just barely blue. And then remember that big, if you don't, go back and watch Floss Tube number two. Remember the whole pack of the little orphans? The turquoise little loaf orphans? <gasps> the buttons are going to be the turquoise from the little orphans. So I'm loving this. And look. I think this is going to be so pretty. I'm excited about it. Plus, I just love that. I love that style. So I'm actually using this not only for an extra credit task, but it is part of this week's homework. So I will get 700 stitches in that like right off the bat. All right, next. I think this is next. Yes, this is um, an ink circles pattern. This was a free one I found. So if you're looking for a great free ink circles pattern. I went to her website and she had a few. This one is ink spot number seven. So this is what it looks like with the interior colors. I am doing only the black work. 
Well, it's not really technically black work. It's just I'm used only stitching the black parts. So this is in a pouch. This pouch is one of my favorites. Is that not incredible? This was a flannel I found at, at Joann's. And it's like different on both sides. And then the inside, and random, is like fuchsia plaid. But this is, I love it. And I feel like it fit. So this is on a silk weaver. I don't know what this color is. But it's kind of like a purpley, pinky, whatever. I had this slotted for another project. And then that project, that was my iPad. I, you know, it's always that like, I'm going to look at that. So anyway, uh, this was slotted for a different project that didn't make. Okay, so Jennifer Upton, if you're watching this, you enabled me to hand dyed by Rolanda, but what I responded back was, uh, you'd enabled me to that like months ago. And one of the things that I purchased was this incredible, let me put it up with my fabric behind it, maybe that will work. Incredible multicolored variegated embroidery floss like gorgeous. So I thought this just stitching the black portions of that pattern would be so pretty. So I'm excited about this one. I'm very excited about this one. I'm excited about all of them folks. You'll also notice I say folks a lot. Also y'all because you know y'all are awesome and because I'm from Texas y'all. All right two, two more than one interesting possibility. This one is another Ship's Manor. This is a new one he just put out. And I was like, ah, I got it. And this is in a pouch. I found this fabric at Joann's. It's one of their new quilters cottons. And it has precious little birds in it. They're real tiny. That isn't showing up, but cute little birds. And then the inside, because it has birds, is turquoise purple feathers. Okay, so this is My Garden by Ship's Manor. And his mock-up is on kind of a tan and the colors don't show up great in this picture. This was just the one I was able to find today. But it's really pretty. Um, and it's like a one page pattern. So it's not huge. Um, and I am stitching it in his colors. So pretty. It's got Prim and Proper, Nevermore, Neverland, Patina, and Elevenses. Elevenses? 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 I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> it's cuckoo time. Um, and this is another Mystic Fabrics. And this does not have a color name. It was number 69 that week. And it's a really pretty, like, periwinkle bluish with a little bit of a purplish. Anyway, I think it's only going to be, like, part of one panel of it because this is a 18 by 21 piece so it's 15 dollars it's beautiful if you have not found mystic fabrics on facebook don't go looking for them because i don't need anybody else to compete with for my fabrics i'm just kidding that is so ugly of me oh. okay ash that didn't i didn't say that all right here is my linen start i need encouragement on this because i really want to stitch this and i really want to stitch it on this and let me tell you why so this is my another pattern I created and it is Isaiah 40 31 and it says those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength they will soar on wings like eagles and our school mascot is an eagle I teach at a private Christian school and our uniforms are blue plaid and so when I saw that Weeks Dye Works had blue on blue gingham linen I need to stitch this. I need to stitch that verse on this fabric. Oh, and it's in my school plaid-ish looking with, and a gray is another color, gray in my polka dots. And it's literally B5200. They don't make Ada in gingham. So I'm really sh on the struggle bus with this one because ugh, linen. And I've heard, now granted, rumors are rumors. But I've heard not such good things about Weeks, Dye Works, um, 
linens and how they're very stretchy. They don't have any stiffness and they're kind of a little bit more challenging to stitch on. Am I opening myself up for failure like just to begin with? I don't know. Okay, so last but not least, this is plants. And this one's tricky because it is the Dona Stitch Sleeping Beauty. And you'll notice this is a paper copy. Here's the reason why. I originally had this kitted up and this is my sleeve that I created. This was Joanne's Fabrics. So you've got the like kind of old movie posters and on the inside I have just some fun. And I have the white fabric I was going to do it on. All the colors including the 12 skeins of 3808. Ariel, I know you've loved this color. I was lucky to find them all at one time. Um, I don't know if it's going to get stitched and here's why. I ordered the supplies from Stitches to Stones to do this as a diamond paint. It's going to be rather an exhaustive piece. I think the canvas I bought was 55 by 70 centimeters. That's large. And I think the... <laughs> The color that you need 12 skeins of DMC for, I think I had to buy like 80 bags of 200 diamonds. It's a lot. And then I realized, oi, because I placed my whole order, I like, oh, I got it all. Let me double check, triple check. And then I went, hmm, this is not full coverage to the rectangular size. Because what I ordered was just this oval the main design and I thought oh well, man I'm mean, either gonna have to frame it oval or uh, I need stones to do the background so I got on order and uh, ordered like a hundred bags of B5200 and I hope it's enough because this is not calculated as part of this the stitch counts for her she gives you the amount of stitches which is fantastic for converting this to a diamond painting because you need to know how many stones to use so that being said, I'm, I'm still thinking about that. They're, they just shipped like yesterday, which obviously yesterday was Sunday. So they're not going to travel very quickly anywhere. And they're coming from Stitches and Stones is Australia, but I believe I read somewhere that they actually ship direct from China, which means it could be like three days or three months. Um, and you have no idea. It's just kind of in limbo. Um, so yeah. That is all of my stitchy whips, things that are coming down the pipe. Um, my hair has dried. It was wet from a shower. Um, we went to the pool today and um, we have a salt water pool and it made my hair beachy, but then it started to look kind of, yeah. Um, so yeah, that is, that is what I've been stitching on what's coming up. So yeah, um, so this was kind of a frantic hullabaloo of a whip parade, um, plus a little bit of some stash, because I would say those are like kitted stash, and you've clearly seen how much floss I've added, and that does not include like all of the things, but I will be back on Friday, I think. I'm thinking I like this Friday filming thing. I'll be back on Friday with my weekly update and hopefully by then I will have had some progress on some projects and yeah I'm excited I'm excited about this um so I I really hope you're you enjoyed this and tell me which project you'd like to see me stitch on um and see some progress on I'd love to know and tell me if I inspired you to add something to your wish list um Oh, my camera. It likes to only do certain lengths of videos, and so I kind of got cut off again. But anyway, what I was saying is, if you saw something that maybe got added to your wish list, let me know. I'd love to know if I if I enabled you just a little bit, um, because I've been enabled by all the amazing people in this stitchy community. And um, as much as I don't want to encourage anybody to spend money they do not have, if you know you're thinking, hey, what might my next project be? Maybe something I showed you today. So until we talk again, I wish you all the stitchy best and a blessed week. And hopefully you've had some downtime 
and are feeling refreshed for this kind of last week of May slash beginning of June. We're about to get into the hot weather in our state. And so I'm gonna be probably spending some extra time indoors um, in the air, in the lovely air conditioning. So again, thank you so much for watching. If you feel like it, drop me a comment. Give me a good old thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. You know, I'm all about constructive criticism. If you didn't like it, that's okay too. To each their own. And if you want to see what I'm up to week to week, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, bye guys. Have a good one.